going on guys and welcome back. We are still trying to find the homes tortoises. Um, we finally got in touch with the shipper, uh, got a tracking number finally, but they are stuck in transit. Uh, I guess they got delayed somehow, but I've been, I was up with on the phone last night until uh, like 12.30 trying to track them down, trying to get someone to deliver them. Um, they pushed me back until this morning. They told me, oh yes, they're going to get shipped out this morning. They are still not shipped out. Um, so they are like two hours from their destination. Um, so we're trying to figure something out with getting these guys delivered. Um, the longer they're in the box, the less chance we have of them surviving. So that's my current situation as far as the homes go, which is not a good one. So that's a Debbie Downer. Um, but we have to keep going with the day. We have to continue on and work with these animals. And I'm just continuing to call FedEx like every half hour, bugging them, trying to get them to deliver this package. So. Um, I have two more tubs to clean here, and I'll go through show you guys those. Um, didn't show you guys the first three because you guys can't see those animals anyway. So, basically what I'm doing here, um, first thing I'm doing is, I'll move this light back, is I'm pulling the animal out of the tub. This is the hypo black and gray female that I have bred this year. Hopefully uh, she produces for me. She hasn't been eating, um, which I would assume. Oh, getting a call, let's see. Hello. Okay, so they are not delivering them today, um, which is bad news, so now I have to get on the phone again here and try and get them picked up. That really makes me a little bit uh, displeased, I guess you would say, with the fact that this was a completely avoidable situation. Um, but a lot of things did not go as planned. I did not receive a shipping number until last night I was supposed to have gotten one uh, Thursday evening so um, yeah um, so that was bad because we could have just picked them up from the uh, from the sorting center on Thursday but because we didn't have a shipping number, because the shipper didn't want to give us one. Um, we are now stuck in this situation where FedEx does not deliver on Saturdays to the area that these guys need to go. Um, so it's a two hour drive for my friend to go and get them. And yeah, so we got to get this figured out. So what's going to happen now is um, they're going to have to go and pick them up. I'm going to be filing a claim to get shipping costs back because um, anything that sits in a box for two days is not going to be in the best health or the health that it was shipped in, which is more expense incurred on us. So it's the least they can do to refund my money and we will go from there. Um, I'm going to go wash my hands now or make this call to the 1-800 number um, and then I will wash my hands, come back, and I'll finish cleaning these guys, and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so I just got off the phone. Um, we're going to pick the tortoises up, or I'm not. My friend is. Um, we're going to get those picked up. I made a claim already with FedEx. I'll update you guys. They said I'll know within five to seven business days I'll hear from someone about it. So, hopefully we can get all that stuff sorted out, and uh, we'll go from there. But anyway, okay, this is my male um, that bred the female that I started with before I was called. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking them out um, 
that is going to alleviate any stress to them. Um, I pull all the all the mulch back so that way I can sort it all, put their water dish in one corner, and then basically just sift through all of the mulch until I um, remove any anything that looks moldy, anything that looks um, like it has food stuck to it, any poop, and any urate. Um, so I'm basically leaving them with just mulch, or that's the idea. So I'll go ahead and do these two tubs. I'll stop when I pull the uh, female out, and that way uh, you guys can see her. Okay, so the male's tub is done. I'm gonna put him back in. He looks really good as always. And we will move on to his lady friend. Okay, so here she is, guys. She's looking good. Um, looks like she might Eh, not really sure. She's definitely maintaining her weight. Um, she's getting getting really, really light. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I'll need to get out here on a warmer day, but she is she's definitely getting lighter as time is going on. Um, really, what she's basically being left with is uh, her port holes down the side. You can still see a little bit of banding here, um, but she is getting lighter, which is good for my projects. So I'm going to put her down and uh, go through her tub. Okay, so now that I have all the tub cleaning done, it's going to be time to go down and feed my roaches. I have like probably five, seven thousand dubia roaches breeding, um, so I'm going to go and feed them, get them all done, and then we're heading over to Kristen's. I'm going to spend the evening over there, and hopefully um, I'll, well, I'll definitely be bringing you guys an update as far as the homes go and we can uh, hopefully get some pictures of them as long as everything is okay. So good vibes for that and um, I'm praying that they are going to come in okay. So hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, we're going to keep moving here and stay busy. Alright guys, so it's the end of the night. I'm over at Kristen's. Um, just a little bit of an update for you. We were able to get the tortoises, however they are not the tortoises we ordered. Um, it's not the gender ratio we ordered and they are in pretty rough shape which is really really sad actually. Um, I'm sure that the shipping delay has played a part in it um, as well as, as uh, just poor them being kept poorly um, after being imported here. So. We got six spec hingebacks. Um, they're completely different care requirements. They're completely different species than homes, which is what we ordered. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to keep them and do our best to get them healthy. 
and in tip top shape and I guess I have a spec hinge back tortoise breeding project now instead of a homes. So that's the update on that. I've been running around in circles all day long trying to get them and uh, thankfully we finally got them instead of letting them sit at FedEx until Monday. But um, again, they're just not looking so hot currently. So I'll keep you all updated on that. Um, as far as everything else goes, pretty calm. I haven't heard anything about the racks being shipped out, which is unfortunate, but I mean, it's okay. I still have plenty of time until I am expecting babies. So with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and get this video edited and uploaded. I just uploaded the uh, proper handling video that I did the other day. So I hope you all check that out and enjoy that. It's really meant to help new keepers and people who who just don't really know how to, to get their animal to a handle, handleable state. So again, I hope that's a help for everyone and let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you think about the blogs as well as the educational videos. Uh, it's scheduled now that I'm going over to Travis's February 25th here. That's also the day of the Hamburg show and we are also on top of that going over to his friend's pet store which has uh, apparently he breeds a lot of dark frogs and he has some of the Averonia as well as some tortoises and stuff like that so I'm pretty excited to go and check that out and I will be bringing you guys along for that. We'll be having a ton of quality videos that day and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Travis has some pretty special things planned so you guys are not going to want to miss those episodes. I hope you all have a good night and I will see you guys hopefully someday this week. And as always guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.